कंडक्ट एंड मिसकंडक्ट इन गवर्नमेंट सर्विस डिस्कलेमर दिस ट्रेनिंग मटीरियल इज फॉर यूज इन ट्रेनिंग ऑफ ऑफिशियल्स इट शुड नॉट बी रेफर एड गाइडलाइन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन केस ऑफ एनी वेरियंस इन दिस ट्रेनिंग मटीरियल द गवर्नमेंट गाइडलाइंस रूल्स लॉ शेल प्रिवेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट कंडक्ट एंड मिसकंडक्ट वॉट डू वी मीन बाय द टर्म कंडक्ट कंडक्ट ऑफ ए गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट शुड रिफ्लेक्ट डिवोशन इंटीग्रिटी ऑनेस्टी ऑब्जेक्टिविटी इम्पार्शलिटी कोर वैल्यूज एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ बिहेवियर दे आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अपहोल्ड वॉट इज कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट इज अ रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट विच डेवलप टू स्ट्रेंथन द इंटीग्रिटी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी objectives the objectives of code of conduct are to demonstrate the government employees commitment toward the integrity impartiality transparency and accountability to reflect the principles values culture and ethics which are acceptable to the society to give guideline regarding standards of conduct for all employees what is misconduct According to Black's Law Dictionary, misconduct is a transgression of some established and definite rule of action, a forbidden act, a dereliction from duty, unlawful behavior, willful in character, improper or wrong behavior. Its synonyms are misdemeanor, misdeed, misbehavior, delinquency, impropriety, mismanagement, offense, but not negligence or carelessness. now we will look into the some of the directions given by the honorable courts the allahabad high court in 1960 has held in lakshmi narayan versus district magistrate that every government servant should maintain a certain standard of conduct not only with performing their official duties but in private life as well the west bengal high court in 1972 has held in hari prasad singh versus income tax commissioner that conduct rule is not void on the ground of vagueness the supreme court of india in 1967 has held in govind menon versus union of india that misconduct is a generic term and means to conduct a mis to mismanage wrong or improper conduct bad behavior unlawful behavior or conduct it includes malfeasance misdemeanor delinquency and offense the term misconduct does not necessarily imply the corruption the court of india of in 1970 has held in bhagwat prasad versus inspector general of police that distinction between conduct and a grave misconduct to gauge gravity of misconduct what matters is not frequency as obliquity or delinquency but enormity of misconduct the madras high court in 1982 has held in r sri nawasan versus union of india that indecent reprehensible or abominable conduct is a conduct for the unbecoming of a government servant The Calcutta High Court in 1979 has held in Krishna Tosh Das Gupta versus Union of India and others that an act of refusal or failure on the part of the employee to carry on with their work during working hours by holding mass demonstration during working hours instead of engaging themselves in their work may constitute misconduct. In this video 
we learned about conduct and misconduct. If you have any doubt or want any clarification, then you can contact through the mail as shown on the screen. For other videos or rules and regulations, you can visit the web address as shown. Thank you.